guys. I uh, loved things heard and seen. I was really fascinated by the balance between the supernatural and then the very human falling apart of a marriage. Um, but my first question is just the casting was so spot on. I believe the author said that she even had Amanda in mind when writing the book. So how did you guys find Amanda and then James who inhabited the creepiness of George so perfectly? Well, Amanda was someone, I've been just such a big fan of her since Mean Girls. And then I remember she did this HBO series called Big Love where like right after Mean Girls, which was a dramatic role and she was, incredible. And I didn't even know she could sing yet. I'm like, who is this person? So I've always wanted to work with her. And when, when we started this project, she was someone that we were always like, I'd love it to be Amanda, but I didn't know that Elizabeth was thinking of her when she wrote it. So when we actually told the writer, the, the novelist that we cast Amanda, she flipped out and she's like, that's the face I was thinking the whole time I was writing. I love that. I think it has like a very uh, Cosette from Les Mis quality in this role. So I definitely understand why. <laughs> um, another question I had that I thought was really um, a little disturbing, but also fascinating how George would use Catherine's eating disorder like as a weapon against her. Um, could you both talk about the process of including that and then also, you know, dealing with it realistically the way that he might while also being respectful of it? Sure. And, uh, um, you know, her eating disorder is is a complicated part of her whole persona, and it's not the defining part. And a lot of people get reduced to that when they have eating disorders, mm -hmm. and especially if you're living with a gaslighter. Um, and George has those tendencies. So um, not only does he not help the situation, but he may, helps maintain the situation, which sometimes people can be, you know, you know uh, on the wrong side of the right path when, when someone needs help in that area. And I think that's part of, you know, the character that the novelist had written. And, and being a woman in 1980, it's set mm -hmm. 19, early 1980s, you know, it, it wasn't that long ago, but it really was mm -hmm. like for women. Women had so little control in society, in their marriage, and in, in, in their choices. And, and so that's part of Catherine's struggle and her, her eating disorder is part of her attempt to have some control over her life. Yeah, I thought you guys really maneuvered that very uh, gracefully. So <laughs> um, finally, what's next for both of you? What are you doing professionally? We're shooting Succession, right? Another episode of Succession. We oh, did wonderful. In season two, and we're like literally shooting an episode of, uh, which I'm so thrilled to be back mm -hmm. on that show. Love it. So next week, we'll be shooting part, episode 304 of Succession. And we've got oh. some feature ideas bubbling <laughs> around, but uh, nothing oh. solid yet. <laughs> I cannot wait for more Succession. And then the next project, because you guys work together so well. <laughs> Have a great day. Oh. You Thank too. You. Bye -bye.